The Golden Circle of Design Thinking. And uh, I'm a big fan of Simon Sinek and his Golden Circle. Uh, in fact, uh, that is the coaching program that I use to kind of dig deep into what sets my soul on fire. But as it relates to design thinking, I want to talk about the what, the how, and the why of design thinking. Uh, first of all, the what. And that is uh, really what it looks like. It's also known as human-centered design. Uh, design thinking, in a nutshell, is a creative so problem-solving process. And there's key variables. So here's the what of design thinking. There is the design team. Obviously, there's a design team with a design leader which uh, what we're talking about today here is you as a leader of your organization leading your team, now your design team, to solve, creatively solve the problems your team faces. So whether your team's, you know, three people in accounting or, you know, a large organization, that's what this is about. You as the leader, your team as the design team. The vision, which in design thinking we call that the how might we statements, and the problems or obstacles, those things that are standing in your way of that vision. And then the users. And users are the key players in achieving the vision. And they are also unknowingly the keeper of the obstacles. And that's why um, design thinking is known as human-centered design. Because when we go to the users to talk to them about this vision that we have, um, then they begin to talk to us about their needs and the obstacles to why that vision isn't happening for them. So, and when it comes to you as a leader and your team as a design team, not the traditional sense of design thinking where it's an organization who's leading the design project and the user is the customers, this time the users are inside the organization, they're inside your team. Um, you're team is not only the design team, they're the ones that are going to create the innovation to solve the problems, they are also the user. So it's interesting and it's a wonderful dynamic for uh, improving collaboration and connection among a team because not only are you, you focused on the users, which are your team, but you also get to use the creative talents of the team to solve the problems of the user. So. Um, it's a really self-agency type of process when you apply design thinking to your within your own organization or within your own team. So that's the what of design thinking. Um, the how, how the design thinking process works, which we will get into this in a little more detail in the next slide. But basically it's five basic steps. And I didn't label these, so... Um, there's many arguments out there of why they are labeled that way or that they're labeled incorrectly. But the five phases are empathy, define the problem, ideation, prototyping, and testing. And so that's the how. That's how the design, you and the design team accomplish the innovation. And then the why. What is the purpose of design thinking? The why is to develop innovative solutions that improve both the enterprise and the user and their experience together. So if you think about in the terms of traditional innovation, when a company has a, a design team or an innovation department and they go out and they interview users and they try to create an innovative solution to their users' problems, their customers, they're not only improving the customer's experience, that's the goal, but they also want to improve the uh, company's bottom line. And if they only do one and not the other, then it's, it, doesn't ex, it doesn't really benefit their relationship together. So if you improve the customer's experience, but it does nothing for the company, then that's going to go by the wayside because obviously we have to profit as a company to, in order to continue to keep the lights on, pay our employees, uh, benefit our shareholders, etc. But if it only benefits the enterprise and it really does nothing for the customer, then that's no good either because they're not going to be any le more likely to buy from you next time as they were before. It's really when both these parties experience a win-win, when the experience of the customer and the experience of the enterprise are a success 
and it brings their experience or their relationship together. And that's how we get this uh, topic of community where com organizations are developing communities now. It's because there's a win-win and they're both in it together. And so that's the why of design thinking or what I like to call the golden circle of design thinking. In terms of the why of design thinking as it relates to you as the design leader and your team as the design team, and the ability to create this win-win uh, situation. You know, it used to be the organization won um, and the employees won. And the way the employees won was they got a paycheck, right? And the way the companies won is they got their work done. And so it was kind of a transaction-based, I do this, you do that, and we're all happy. Well, we know from all that's going on in our world today that that's no longer the case. Um, employees have tremendous needs and the pandemic has really shined the light on those needs. No longer is just a paycheck the only need that they have. They have uh, additional needs. And so by using design thinking as a tool for leadership or leading by design, then you begin to understand the needs of your user and understand also the problems and obstacles they face as a human in relation to the vision that you have as an organization. And so when you can understand the user, your employees' needs and their obstacles and problems that they face on a daily basis that keep them from achieving the, the vision that you have, and you begin to meet those needs as a leader, then you have an employee that is happy, they're engaged, they're enlivened to use their creative potential to not only reach the vision, but also to remove obstacles. And then you have you as the leader and ultimately representation of the organization that is achieving your goal of growing the creative potential of your employees, but also growing your organization. And so it's a win-win for both when you use design thinking, not only as a tool for outside innovation with customers, but as a tool for innovation within your own team to engage them, to uh, improve their experience and to give them the tools they need to reach the vision that you have and to let them be a part of reaching that vision, not just doing the work, but in being creative and problem solving and, and other things. So we'll talk more about that next. <music>